Welcome to Johnny Syndicate. I hope you guys enjoyed the video I did with a little collection of some of the snow footage I had. I just wanted to give you guys an update on my uh, physique and that. I am currently going to end my cut. I want to get back to building some more muscle. Usually this is about a yearly cut thing. I got down to about 155 pounds and somewhere around 13% body fat. I don't want to go all the way down to 11 or below because I feel like I'm going to sacrifice some of these hard-earned gains that I've been making. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'll give you guys a physique check right now. This is after a cheat meal and uh, upping my calories for a couple days now. It's a lot of detail. Once we can vacuum. I'm gonna set us up so you can see a. Uh, my legs. All right, let's try this with a better camera. Let's see if we can get a, show a little more of my physique. As you guys can probably see behind me with all these books, I've done a lot of diet protocols. So I'm actually going to share with you guys the easiest, simplest stuff that I use and I use year after year over and over again. There's like four or five books that are my favorites. You don't have to cut everything out of your diet. Now, if you have issues with that, I can understand cutting certain things out of your diet. But if you're a normal, healthy individual like I am, you should be able to eat from all the food groups. The trick is, is not to over consume anything and to keep your calories in check and eat for what you're trying to accomplish. If you're trying to get lean, you know you got to cut back on some stuff. If you're trying to build some muscle, maybe you want to add a little extra protein and carbs, but don't go crazy with it. It's not necessary. Unless you're on roids or some crazy stuff, then you could probably get away with more. But you really got to worry about your training frequency, whether you're recovering or not, and just having a nice, controlled, healthy, balanced diet. It's not what everybody wants to hear. Everybody wants to hear, oh, vegan's magic, paleo's magic, keto's magic. It's not magic. Unless you have issues where you need to cut those things out of your diet, you might need to in the beginning because your body is not going to want to drop fat. Because maybe you've been, I don't know, eating cereal and crap since you were a little kid and your body has not never had a chance to clear that out of the system and actually utilize it. So I recommend not going on some crazy wild diet protocol. Figure out your calories, figure out your output as far as what you're doing to training, your walking, whatever you're doing, and get your metabolism in check. The key to long-term success is for you to make a diet protocol that you could adhere to and that you can use. Here's one of my favorite books. It's real simple and easy. It's based on the zone diet, except this is way easier the way that these people set it up. But you've got this one, 40-30-30, Fat-Burning Nutrition. Then year after year, I like to use this one when I want to lean out a little bit or keep a semi-nice physique. we got the ab diet. And the author that does this also does this other one that I like, which is not the healthiest stuff, but way better than some of the options you can choose, which is the eat this, not that. 
when I want something that feels like I'm cheating a little bit, but I'm not totally ruining my diet, I have some things off of this. There's a whole series of these books, like Supermarket, What to Cook at Home, all different stuff. Same with the Ab Diet book as well. And this has been my go-to a lot of times too, is the Testosterone Advantage Plan. I like this book as well. And uh, it's pretty it's pretty basic. There's like a featherweight, heavyweight, welterweight nutrition plan on there. So you just gotta kind of figure out what you want what you're trying to do with your physique and go with that. The heavyweight is more of like a weight loss style approach. And then as you get further on, like featherweights and that, then you'll notice there'll be a lot more carbs in general because this person is not gaining fat as fast. So uh yeah, these are just some of the simple, fun books that I like to have that, you know, hey, when I go on vacation, if I have this with me, I can make a little smarter choices when it goes to uh, getting some fast food stuff. Hope that helps. I'll put links to all these books down below in the description, so if you guys want to uh, pick up some of these, you can. I recommend you go to Book Off, because a lot of these you'll find over there for like a dollar, maybe two bucks. Save yourself a few bucks. But I know with the lockdowns and everything, it's kind of hard to get out. So you can always uh, order or use copy online. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.